question now is, where the hell did she run off to? Damn it, the girl's too fast. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not gonna find her like this. And then he actually does. Whoa! Now, oh, sorry about that. I am Ine. Wait, did you make that noise? You know, that little yelp just now. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's how bad we apparently affected her. It's like, she's totally outside of her element. It's only when she realized it was Takeda that she's like, Oh, I gotta, gotta get back in my zone. Pretty sure I didn't imagine that cute little squeal. Okay, don't call it cute. She's clearly distressed, my dude, but... The heck it wasn't. Well, I didn't think you were even capable of sounding so girly. You fucking... You know, for the majority of alternatives so far, Takeru's kind of shaped up his personality. In Extra, he was hot garbage. One of my least favorite, yo, know, visual novel protagonists I've ever fucking come across. Didn't like him. In Unlimited, he had a lot of that same personality, but it slowly started to get better towards the end. And here at the beginning, he's had a pretty damn decent personality. <laughs> he's been a very compassionate and caring person while still being a little goofy on the side. And now he's... I don't like... He's kind of reverting back to an asshole. Huh? Man, they grew up so fast. Glad to see you're finally embracing your feminine side. Like, he knows we upset her somehow. But because she made a little yelp, that now he's just like, Ha ha, now I'm going to mock you, even though I clearly upset you somehow. <laughs> you know, if you weren't always like that, you might actually be pretty cute. Yeah, he deserved that. 100%. Ouch! Ow, ow, ow. You can't just suplex me out of nowhere, dude. Yeah, but you deserved it, though. Seriously, you're gonna hit me with an STA in the middle of the hall? You're trying to kill me, dude? I'm like, gonna, like I said, you gonna deserve it, my guy. Luckily, I was able to stick the landing, thanks to all my intensive training. Wait, where are you going? I'm not done with you yet. Ow. I mean, hey, wait up. No sign of her. Didn't even get a chance to apologize. Yeah, because you started mocking her like an asshole. The fuck did you expect? <laughs> hey, well, let me make fun of you because you made a noise. Hey, wait, where are you going? I wanted to uh, be a nice person to you. Where are you going? <laughs> like, ugh, God, I'm so stupid. That should have been the first thing I did. Yeah, no shit. Hmm, what's this? It's an envelope. A letter, maybe? Right. We saw that envelope when we... Well, actually, no, I don't think... One second. The brain is calculating things. No, I didn't record that. That was during... Because, um... After I finished recording Unlimited, I did, uh go through it a couple times again just to see what the other girls endings were and when you go during one of the when you're making decisions in unlimited to try to boost your points up with Ayamine I believe it's when you go fuck I'm trying to remember what moment it is but at some point you go into Ayamine's room and you see this envelope on the wall but you know, and you think about opening it, but you never do. You're not given a choice to open it either. Oh, what was it? No, that is some. No, 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 that is something that I did record. That was during. Yeah, it's during the fight between Jazero and Ayamine, when they're having their big fucking yo fight, and you go to Ayamine's room to try to find her, to try to talk to her, try to calm her down, try to help see things. Help her see things from a different perspective and whatnot. That that's when it happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's when it happened. You go to a room to try to find her. You see this envelope and you're like, nah, I got more important things to deal with, but I should look at that. And of course he shouldn't have, but looks like it's from someone named Tsushima Shuji. Wait, Tsushima Shuji. Why does that name sound familiar? Because you've seen this envelope before, sir. Huh? To Ayamine K. This feels eerily familiar, though I can't remember why. I can. Oh well. 
In any case, this letter's clearly addressed to Aimine. Guess she must have dropped it when she threw me to the ground. A letter, huh? Guess I shouldn't be too surprised that people here still exchange letters with the outside world. I've just never had anyone to send one to. But, hang on a second, something feels off about this envelope. That's what it is, there's no stamp on it. What's up with that? Do letters to the UN military not need postage, or what? Well, in any case, I better give this back to her. We've still got some time before we have to form up. I'll stop by her room, and if she's not there, I'll just hang on to it for her. I don't think that's a good idea, my guy. So I wonder why she'd be walking around with a letter in the first place. <sighs> Does it have something to do with someone who was on that mountain during the volcano incident? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe. Was she planning on showing it to everyone? Maybe it's from someone that everybody in the squad knows but me. But if that's the case, why would it only be addressed to Aimine? Tsushima Shuji. It's gotta be a guy's name. His handwriting is impeccable, but it still has a very masculine feel to it. Fast Rap's got some pretty bold handwriting herself, though there's still an obvious femininity to it. There's only one possible explanation for this. Scandal amongst the ranks. I mean a secret lover. I'm gonna say no. Damn. This must be a byproduct of me changing history then. There were zero hints of anything like this going on last time, except there were, because you saw the envelope, but just kind of ignored it. Which was for the best. I do stand by that. Though to be fair, it's really none of my business if she's got a boyfriend or two. Why would you assume she's got two? What about Ayamine Scream Slut? Well, to my, two might be a little much, actually. Heck, I'm still having a hard time just picturing her with just one. Okay, no need to be rude. Goddamn. You're like, wow, she's probably got a couple of boyfriends. Well, no, actually. I don't think she could... I'm, ha I'm, I'm having trouble believing she could even have one. It's like, damn, pick an insult and stick with it, my guy, you fucking dick. It's like, wow, she probably sleeps around. You know what? No, she probably couldn't land a guy. It's like, my get fucking dude, why are you being so rude to Ayamine? 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 Should I leave for training? I'm coming in, okay? Huh, I figured she was probably just ignoring me, but it looks like she really isn't here. I wonder if she even realized she dropped this letter. Looks like I'll just have to return to her later then. Huh? Or you could just leave it on her desk like a normal person. She's got a ton of envelopes scattered on her desk, and all of them have the same handwriting. Don't mind if I sneak a little peek. Yes, she will. Let's see who these are all from. Ha, <laughs> called it. They're all from that same dude. Yep, these two must be head over heels for each other. She keeps one of these in her pocket wherever she goes so, she can, so he can always be with her. Some sappy nonsense. Ugh. I already know it's not what he's fucking thinking. <laughs> There's no way it's what he's... He's going to assume that's what it is, then he's going to confront her about it, and she's going to be like, No, you fucking idiot. Here's the actual truth. <laughs> Never would have pegged Aimee as the romantic type. And this Tsushima guy must be pretty dedicated to her if he's writing her love letters all the- Wait, what the heck? These haven't been opened. There must be a dozen of these just lying here on her desk. They're all still sealed. But the one she dropped- Yeah, this one's been opened. What the heck is going on here? Hmm. Weird. This one has a stamp. All the other ones have stamps too. Is it just the one I picked up that doesn't? Dang. Those are some nice looking stamps. Though I guess presentation is everything when writing a love letter. A dozen. Huh. Not sure if that's a lot or a little by lover standards. It's gotta be someone she knew before she enlisted, right? Inspected December 1st. Oh. Where are the others dated? Inspected November 1st. Inspected October 1st. Inspected September 1st. Inspected August 1st. Damn, this dude doesn't mess around. He's arranged it so they arrive... So that every single one arrives on the first of each month. But that might be just the right kind of guy for Ayamine, actually. What? Okay. I don't see how that correlates to anything, but alright. So then, what about the one I have? Inspected December 3rd. Oh, looks like this one's an exception to the rule. I get it now. That must be why she bothered to open it. I know this is none of my business, but could there be trouble brewing in paradise? 
If she, if she hasn't opened any of these, then that obviously means she hasn't been sending him any replies either. Man, that's gotta get to a guy. Can't imagine being ignored like that. Maybe he sent this one off schedule to try and shake things up. Sounds like he's a pretty clever dude. He's dead. Whoever it is, they're dead. I'm almost willing to guarantee that's what happened. But in any case, I may have just been leaving these lying around unopened. Kinda feel bad for the guy, especially since he's probably dead. <laughs> especially because he's probably dead. In her case, possible she just too lazy to open them. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. How could they pass inspection if they haven't been opened? I don't think they let anything through inspections without opening it. And what about the one I found? No stamp, no postmark. It looks like it's been opened by hand, so I think it's safe to say I assume Ayamine is the one who did it. Which means somebody must have marked this totally suspicious letter as inspected without even looking inside. Isn't that a little weird? I had not even considered that. Yeah, this isn't right. Something's not adding up about these letters. I've never gotten one myself, but even I know the process they have to go through. I'm pretty sure the base's internal post office opens them and examines the contents in several ways before marking them as inspected. Right. To make sure there's nothing suspicious coming into the base, make sure, you know, no kind of, they're not asking any, you know, questions about classified information. Like, yeah, no, 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 he's right. The shit would definitely be getting inspected a lot more thoroughly. Only classified documents get to skip the process. Normal mail is all subject to inspection. I don't think Yuko-sensei, or even the CEO himself, would be able to bend the rules on that. These letters are totally suspicious. Something's definitely going on here. I really hope I didn't just stumble across something I shouldn't have. Oh, you definitely did. It isn't just the letters themselves. Someone stamped that these were inspected without even checking the contents. That's a deliberate violation of military regulations, and it's happening right under our noses. This can't be waved off as a simple show of respect for two lovers' privacy. This is deadly serious. Somebody could get court-martialed for this. Aimee is not involved in some kind of conspiracy, is she? Oh god, no. Because she is very anti-authority. We do know that. So, like, it's not too hard to believe, honestly. I know the UN has its factions, and there's probably a lot of intrigue going on behind the scenes, but it's kind of a shock to find something like this so close to home. I'm getting kind of worried about what Makoto's dad was saying. Something involving America and the anti-alternative forces. Yeah. Damn it. Things are finally starting to look up, too. But if there's some kind of conspiracy going on here, I can't afford to overlook it. Oh, are we really going to have to throw Aimee under the bus? Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> there's no way I'm going to let something like that get in our way. Sorry, Aimee. Gonna have to look at this letter. I mean, yeah, I don't blame him now at this point. In this season, the biting chill grows stronger with each passing day, and the winter solstice prog prognosticates the coming snow. As I gaze out upon the frozen landscape, I feel indomitable as the steadfast pine. Yet, whether in prose or verse, it seems my words are ever ineffective. Someone's been sending her poetry. For striking through the even tide spectrums may be as thy dr may be as thy as they drape over the distant peaks. Such majesty is lost on these con on those content to remain pure. Per pure blind, per blind. I don't know that word. Though as I know you are as wise beyond your years, surely you must have good cause to avert your gaze. As Confucius says, it is only in the cold of winter that the pine and cypress are known as evergreens. It is with these words in mind that we gather here, towering like evergreens over withered clovers, resolved to weather the storm. Yeah, more. We shall wipe away. We shall wipe away the lingering regrets of he who wept for his land and his people. I only ask that you bear witness to the righteous fury that burns in our hearts. Okay, so she knows someone. This shall be my final letter for you. I wish only the brightest, most unfathomably irradiant future. Tsushima Shuji. <sighs> Clearly this person sending her letters it, they very much seem like an anti-alternative person, from what I'm gathering here. 
He's talking about a bright future. Righteous fury. We shall wipe away the lingering regrets. That's... Ooh. Like, I don't want to throw Ayamine under the bus. I don't want to get her fucked over in any way, shape, or form because I love Ayamine, but... If she's fucking over my plans... Like, we were just talking about making sacrifices for the greater good. And maybe that's why she's so worried? It's because she knows that we're, we would do that so that if I found out about this, I would most definitely report it. And that's why she's being all suspicious, why she's all worried. Maybe? Oh shit. Now I wish I'd taken more literature classes. <laughs> Dude, what century is this literary from? It's pretty much Greek to me as is. I shouldn't be too surprised he can't, like, you know, see more meaning behind the words, but still. I can tell this part's talking about wiping away regrets, and, uh, there's something about righteous fury. That's pretty much it. Yeah, those are pretty important parts you gotta look at, my guy. Who the hell sends letters like this? It just reeks of some kind of military intrigue. But one thing's for sure. Definitely need to give this back to Ayamine in person. Can't let anyone else see it. Or things might get real ugly really fast. That's, uh, there's something going on here. Yeah. <sighs> there she is. Mm hmm. She's scanning her eyes along the ground, looking for the letter, no doubt. I mean, eh? <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. Where have you been? Chotto. Out where? Shokai Kodo. So like her to try and completely play it off. But to be fair, she probably doesn't want anybody knowing about this. <sighs> I'll try to hide it. You're looking for this, right? Here you go. <sighs> what if this thing makes any more sense to her than it does to me? <laughs> of course not. There's no way that Ayamine is a part of some anti-alternative conspiracy, right? No, she'd definitely do a better job of hiding it if she was. But she's already quite the enigma, so I can't honestly be sure. I know, that's why I'm, like, concerned. It's like... You, I can't be 100% sure that she isn't. As much as I fucking want to believe she'd do the right thing, maybe she'd view what that as the right thing. I. <laughs> Even if a superior ordered me to, ordered me to, I still wouldn't want to suspect a comrade. I really just hope this is a misunderstanding. That's the wrong attitude to have in this situation, my guy. If a superior ordered you to, like... <laughs> and there is, like, enough reason to suspect like as much as I would hate to suspect Ayamine of all people <sighs> what Honto? yeah anyway take it go on I knew it so that letter really was something serious Arigato. try not to drop it this time okay actually how about you just quit throwing people around entirely Kiyotsukeru. Well, that's certainly not the response I was expecting. She'll be more careful, huh? Sure, it's the right thing to say given the situation, but it also kind of makes it sound like she's hiding something. And hey, but sorry about earlier. Well, first off, for making fun of you, and second, for making you mad in the PX. But next time, you should really clean up the mess you make. May ended up doing it for you. Don't scold her! Well, I think she might actually apologize to you first. She said she didn't mean to offend anybody and all that. So? She's being super cautious around me now. Uh-huh, it's almost like you said something. <laughs> this isn't normal. She's not acting like herself at all. Well, see ya. Don't be late for training. Mitanda. Huh? Mitano. Look at what? Tegami. Well, yeah, I looked at the envelope. How else could I have known it was yours? Soredake? Yeah. Hontoni. I did think it was kind of weird, though. Don't know how I got through inspection without a stamp on it. Dochi. Yeah, she's really on her guard now. <clears throat> Better get it over with. At least that way I won't have to be paranoid about it all day. <sighs> Sorry, the letter actually... Okay, he's gonna make some bullshit. I just, the letter slipped out. I just happened to look at it. Like, nah, fucking man up. Be like, yeah, I looked at it, okay? Sorry, the letter actually... actually God damn it, now I hit my microphone. 
The letter actually slipped out when you dropped it, so I just happened to catch a glimpse when I picked it up. Usatsuki. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, I'm a liar, alright. And a pretty bold-faced one at that. I know I need to be prepared to do whatever it takes to save humanity, but this... This just feels wrong. Uh, believe me, I feel the same way. But it's all about convictions, my guy. <laughs> If your fucking, if your homie is standing in the way of saving the world, <laughs> like it's a very similar issue that I faced in Life is Strange, the very first game, where, yo, know, you can save the town, but you have to sacrifice your best friend. I mean, that's. A spoiler, sorry, but, you know, the game's been out for, like, fucking five years now. I'm sorry, okay? Get over it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's like, I was willing to make that sacrifice to save a larger group of people. I'm willing to sacrifice someone I care about to save a much larger group of people. And that's, that's kind of what you gotta do at this point, especially when it's like, you know, one town is one thing, like a whole city... Well, not even like a city. It was a very small town, but still, one town is one thing, but the entire planet, a whole ass billion people, like, if, you, if one of your homies has to go so that you can save the majority of a billion people, I say you gotta go for it. Like, there's nothing we can really, you know, actually accuse her of. We have no evidence to truly back up any accusations. And once again, I do not want to throw Ayamine under the bus. I fucking love Ayamine. She is easily one of my favorites, but... It's just... Nah. Alright, my bad. I know. Hmm? Him. The guy singing the letters? Oof. What's that supposed to mean? No, dude, I have no idea what you're talking about. So. I mean, eh? Didn't you see it for yourself? Don't tell me you haven't looked at it. From the tiny bit I saw, it was written in super formal, poetic Japanese. Really couldn't make heads or tails of it. So. But it seems like something's on your mind. If something's going on, you know you can talk to me, right? A problem for you is a problem for everyone in... The hell? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, I mean, eh? now's not the time for jokes. Whoa, hang on. Kill me. Wait, so then... She'd have to kill me if I found out? Sure wish this was one of your usual jokes, right? Look, even if you're involved in some shady shit, do me a favor and don't let anything happen for another month or so, all right? Because if you get in the way of Alternative 4, I'll have to take you out too, Ayamine. How serious are you about that statement, my guy? How serious are you about that statement, my guy? Oh god, don't. It's actually gonna come down to that, isn't it? Please, no, not I am Ine. <laughs> Honestly, I don't want to... <laughs> I wouldn't want to see that from any of them. Like, I think Chizuru was pro would probably be the one character I'd be, like, the least, yo, know, torn up about if we had to do something. <laughs> if we had to, like, get them out of the way. Quote-unquote, who knows what that could entail. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> not I am Ine. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, it's not like this suspicious behavior is anything new from her, but given new context. <laughs> but this time, I highly doubt it's all just an act. I don't want to believe it, but from the look in her eyes, when she said she'd have to kill me, she meant it. Oh, God. Although, if she was a covert operative directly involved in some sort of conspiracy, I don't think she'd be stupid enough to drop a letter about it. Except you kind of startled her. She was kind of in a hurry. Eh... Especially to get away from you, knowing that you're very pro-alternative at this point. She doesn't know that for certain that's what he is, but she knows that he's very, yo, know, 
on good terms with the UN and whatnot. So she can kind of draw her own conclusions. It'd make more sense to assume that she planted it intentionally for me to see it. After my run-ins with Makoto's dad and Skiyomi-san, I know that both the Imperial Ministry of Intelligence and the Royal Guard are aware that I'm not supposed to be alive. Could she be involved with one of them? Hmm. The weird thing is, I don't remember her being mixed up in anything like this the last time around. Yeah, we did something. I may have forgotten bits and pieces of certain events, but never anything that major. Except those letters were there. Those letters were there. He's not remembering it, but those letters were there. It was happening, he just didn't see it. He just had no idea it was happening, right? Ugh. But it's also true that a lot of unfamiliar events have been happening lately, now that the future's begun to change. Up until now, I've been at an advantage. Not only did I have more military experience, but I also knew what was going to happen and when. But from now on, I'm going to be totally in the dark about any upcoming events. That's not entirely a bad thing. It's the result of of the intel and insights I had to offer bringing Alternative 4 closer to completion. That said, we're at a critical juncture now. I can't afford to worry about appearances anymore, even if it leads to more arguments like the one I had this morning. I'm not going to have the upper hand for much longer. I can't just start resting on my laurels. For the moment, I'd better do a little digging. I can probably wait to tell Yuko-sensei until I know more. Uh. Can we wait? Now, the question is, how am I going to get Aime to talk? Intimidation methods certainly aren't going to work. I have to make use of everything I know about her from my world if I'm going to ring... If I'm going to wring it out of her. I still haven't properly apologized for looking at her letter, so I guess I'll use that as an excuse to talk to her again. But how do I even start that conversation? Hmm? There's only one thing to do in this situation. We have to play my trump card. Come on, didn't I already tell you this? I'm on a different schedule than the others right now. Though technically, since they only gave me yesterday off. But the fact that she hasn't called me back means she probably hasn't finished tuning up the device yet. Did you even hear what I said? You, you can tell her because she knows. <laughs> Apparently not. Nah, I'm not here to beg for handouts. But hey, do you have any synthetic yakisoba? I'd really appreciate it if you could make me some. Well, it's not for me. He's coming with a peace offering. He's like, Hey, I mean it. Get a little something for you. Now talk. <laughs> I'm not. I just, uh, need it for something else. Huh? Look, I just need it in fast, or else something terrible might happen. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not the way to phrase it. The, you should probably, like, say, Hey, listen, I met... I, I kind of messed up with one of my squad mates. This would, you know, kind of make it up to her. And she'd be like, I got you, kid. I got you. But no, now you got to be like, listen, the world's in danger if I don't get that fucking yakisoba now. Please. I can't get Mrs. Kioske involved in this. I'm just going to have to beg her till she gives in. <laughs> like, honestly, I think if you would have given her, like, the fucking, a little half-truth, like, listen, I kind of, yo. Know, I'm on rough terms with one of my squad mates. If you could help me out with this, really, really appreciate you. Like, like I said, I, I think wholeheartedly should jump into that. Th thank you so much, Mrs. Kioska. Uh, oh, and um, do you have any leftover synthetic bread? Yes, this will be perfect. To assemble my trump guard. Give her the old yakisoba sandwich. This is it. The one I've been waiting for. Early enough to be hungry, but dinner's still a ways away. I had to put my secret weapon to the test. This is I mean his greatest weakness. It doesn't even exist in this world. From deep within the fabric of space-time comes the elusive yakisoba sandwich, now resurrected in all its glory. Even though it's made from synthetic ingredients, there's no way she'll be able to resist the temptation. 